Right, hello folks, and if you're watching this video, you will probably have come here after being defeated by the dreaded Flame Lurker numerous times over and over again. You might have even got to the last third, like I did, um, in using whatever weapons, melee weapons or magic, but when he gets to that like third phase of fighting, he just really does you in and you just can't get past that stage. And uh, anyway, that's how it's been for me until uh, I had a look at, look at a load of YouTube videos to see how they did it. I, in fact, this boss is the only boss I can kind of sort of read his moves, but I'm still not quick enough to uh, get out of the way. So you can see how many di uh, times I died there in this video, the intro. And I died a lot more times than that. Anyway, so in this video I'm going to show you a, uh, a method. I reckon it's probably the easiest method. Well, obviously it's, it is for me and kind of adapted from a couple of YouTube videos. I haven't seen one exactly like this. I kind of accidentally stumbled upon this. But what you will need is the thief ring. So wear the thief ring as you can like de-aggro the flame lurker as you can see right now. Then he comes back. All you need to do is kind of run away um, and put an obstacle between you and him. And you can see that I'm trying to get behind that rib cage area. If you run, like I was running back towards the um, fog gate entrance there, sometimes you might need to do that if he goes berserk and chases after you. But as you can see here, I'm going behind the uh, rib cage, put some distance between us. It kind of feels like there's a little bit of an alcove in the, the area where I'm stood there. So if you stand back a bit, he tends to back off and then goes back to his... Um, like the center or where you can see there. And he sort of like de aggros and kind of resets. And now we can use our magic on him. So like I say, make sure you get the thief ring. I've equipped myself with it. Ring-wise, I've equipped myself with, with the thief ring and the regenerator ring. Um, you shouldn't have, if you do this right, you shouldn't have too much of a problem with health. You might want to keep a little bit of health on you, but the regen ring or the regenerator ring is going to replenish your um, health when you're stood still anyway and out of the way. And so, and when 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 you've got a safe place, you can let let your health come back if you do get a heavy knock. But bear in mind, the flame lurker can uh, cause a lot of damage. So you just like watch how I'm moving there. I'm trying to sort of go around the rib cage, get some distance between me and the flame lurker, and you can use that kind of stalagmite thing also to uh, hide away. And with the thief ring, that will sort of de-aggro him, as you can see there which makes it a whole lot easier. As soon as you hit him, he, the game's up and he, and he sees you and as he chases after you until you get to another safe space. Um, and I think that's about it, really. Like I say, if, you, if, if he goes berserk in this area, you can run towards the, the uh, fog gate where you came from, to the right-hand side, and kind of let him chase you around there um, in that like larger alcove area and then run back to this area where the rib cage is and um he should reset diagro and reset and if that doesn't work just keep doing that sort of thing but uh, anyway what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave the video all the video footage here if anybody wants to study it and uh, so it's 20 minutes long um roughly and um you'll see exactly what I did to beat him here. Um, you're going to need the thief ring, otherwise he's not going to de-aggro like that. He's just going to chase you in um, and do what he does best, which is, uh, you know, um, brutally kill people. But, um, yeah, and that's it. So, I so said all you need is the thief ring, regenerator ring, and use this rib, that little rib cage area where we're to there. And that stalagmite thing that you can hide behind, run around that. And if you'll, you'll get a feel for how things happen and if it does go out of sync to, and he's chasing you like madly, just run towards the fog gate, just reiterating here, uh, to the right hand side of the fog gate where you came in. And um, just kind of hide around there and use that alcove bit, come back so you've got some distance between you and him and, his, and an object or whatever. And uh, Bob should be your uncle. 
And then when he's in that position, as you can see there, you can fire some magic at him. I'm going very cautious here, so I'm like just firing one burst of magic each time. But um, if you're feeling more confident, you might be able to squeeze a couple in there. You'll probably be able to use the bow as well. Well, you will be able to use the bow. Um, I'm using the magic. You just like, um, you know, just lock in, lock on on him when he's when you're ready to fire, and then lock off when you're like running away. But yeah, such a pain. I mean, it's, uh, it's like crazy because I, I get to that sort of like last third. And it seems like he's got three phases, three patterns of fights, and then just goes berserk on that last third. And um, it's like you almost get there. I reckon I got about, say, eight tenths of the way, 80% of the way, and I'd still end up dying. And it seems like uh, if you run away from him and you're facing away from him, it seems like he's just on your tail. You need to sort of like keep facing him. And he see it, there seems to it seems to create a little bit of distance, but of course it's easier said than done. And at this stage, I'm a bit of a novice, so the, uh, this video is going to be for rookies and novices like myself that uh, can't beat some bosses, and especially the flame lurk or the melee weapon, or even like you know magic and bows. Um, without the the thief ring, so I'm not sure if uh, people do use the thief ring thief ring while they are um, attacking him with melee weapons, swords, etc. Um, I don't know, but yeah, the thief ring certainly makes this a lot easier, and you can get breaks and rest in between times, so either use the regenerator ring or heal up when you've got time to do so. Without that thief ring, when you're fighting, well, you, you, you'll you know this already, you've hardly got any time to heal. You do have a little bit of time, and, and it does take a lot of skill, and um, of course you can... If you're like me, you want to sort of progress through the levels, because you just you just want to see... Um, the next stage and it's such a beautiful game and it's just an amazing experience to play this game and it's just like sort of being in a fantasy painting type of thing or a fantasy film it's just amazing so if you're like me you want to see um, the you know the, the next level of art and all that type of thing the, the, the art of the next level is just, just unbelievable the graphics and all that sort of thing so I mean, um, also like I'm not too bad on like your your usual um, encounters, you know your um, regular encounters with uh, the main enemies. But when it comes to bosses, it's like it's, the difficulty seems to jump so high, and I find it quite hard to read a lot of the bosses at this stage. Although I will say, like the you know, I've played the Flame Lurker so much that I've sort of read his moves, but um, I haven't developed the skill to do anything about it. So I'm gonna get a couple of shots in there just beyond that rib cage. He, I think he might have been changed. Yeah, he's getting to the stage where he's changing now. So we're on that second third, so his behaviours might change. You'll notice that as you go along. So you might have to adapt a little bit, but it's pretty much the same principle movements all the way through. So yeah, I um, just beat Old Monk, the AI version. I actually find that found that quite hard at the level I am at, but I think I'm getting better now because I did actually beat that boss uh, with a melee weapon sword. I'm favouring the skimmer, Skimitar sword at the moment. That's what I got used to and I sort of levelled it up with the blacksmith. The blacksmith at the Nexus and levelling up. Um, with the blacksmith at the smithy grounds. Because you can only level so far, I think, with the uh, blacksmith at the nexus, and then you'll have to start leveling up certain items with uh, the blacksmith at the smithy grounds. I don't think there's anything more, more to add. I don't think. So yeah, so anyway, I'll leave this video running. I don't think there's any, anything more to add at this stage, so I'll leave this video running if anybody wants to sort of study the moves at this stage and they're finding it uh, difficult to defeat the Flame Lurker. i go as far to say this is probably the easiest method that you'll find on YouTube to uh, beat the Flame Lurker. 
unless you're like got some special way of leveling up um, your character early to a great extent. But uh, I'm not sure about that. So anyway, I'll leave it here, and uh, you can watch the video in peace without me waffling on. But in the meantime, uh, thanks for watching, hope this helps, and we'll see you soon.